Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my kitchen family. What are we eating today? We are eating some beef and broccoli. And your girl's getting ready to tell you what you need to make this. This is so simple and so easy. And we're going to jump right on into it, okay? With me telling you what you need to have, all right? Let's get it started. So starting from the top, we're going to start over here. We have some teriyaki base and glaze. Yes, yes, yes. We got to have that. We have some Maggie Jugo. Y'all know I like to put this on everything, even on my plants outside. Everything has to have it. It needs to eat it. I'm just joking. Okay. And then we have some Nor, some Nor tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. Okay. I put that in almost everything too, guys. I love it. I love it. And then we have some hoisin sauce. This is like a, I don't want to say a fishy sauce, but it just gives your food that extra. Mm. You ever try to make Chinese food at home, guys, and you wonder what's missing? These type of things that y'all don't know that they're putting in their food that gives it that extra flavor. Paprika, this is going to be to season my sirloin. Some accent, I love that to season all my meat. And we have some onion powder. And we have some garlic, garlic, garlic. We got some ginger. Some ginger. And we have some reduced sodium soy sauce. Okay. And then we have our sirloin. USDA choice top sirloin from Aldi's. I'm going to be chopping that bad boy up. And then I have my steamable broccoli florets from Sam's. You get the big, big bag with four or either five of these in it. And then I have some canola oil to get my meat started before I do the actual stir fry. So simple. This is what you're going to need. Now, let me tell you, you don't have to have the Maggie or the um, bouillon cubes. And you don't have to have the um, teriyaki, but I like my beef and broccoli with a little bit of sweet to it. And basically everything else you would want to have. These are just items to season my meat really well. So let's get started, guys. Let's get this meat cut. All right, guys, this has been rinsed and I started cutting and forgot to cut the camera on. So you want them nice and thin like this, but not too, too thin and not too, too thick because you want it to look like the real deal beef and broccoli. So that one's a little thick, but we can always go in here and cut a little bit thinner. So I'm going to go here like that. I'm gonna cut it down. That. Alright guys, so we got this bad boy over here getting hot for us. I got my broccoli ready to be tossed in after this meat is done. I got my canola oil over here, so I'm going to pour that in the pan. And you can tell that that stuff is ready. So I've already seasoned my meat. And we're going to put her in just like that. You don't throw it completely in the grease right away. You kind of still want this pot to get hot. Let me cut my heat up a little bit more. And we're going to fry this meat. All right, guys. I just season it lightly. Not a whole bunch of seasoning because you don't want the seasoning to overwhelm the flavors that you're going to be putting in it anyway. So I'm going to let that kind of sit there and do its thing and get brown. I'm going to put these wontons. Put those in the refrigerator. Yeah. All right, guys. You just want to move her around like so and let her brown. This is the quickest, easiest meal you can make. And guys, I already made my rice earlier today. I made that, so that is already done. It is a Friday, guys. So if I'm loading this, you know it more than likely is not gonna be on the day. Your girl is behind with a lot of videos. I'm not behind as far as um, doing them, but basically when you guys see the videos, it had been done week <laughs> week prior depending on what video it is some videos i do right away if i need to get them out but yeah so you're gonna brown it if y'all can smell this stuff oh my gosh it smells so good 
I hope y'all been having an awesome week. We have been doing nothing but unpacking, unpacking, unpacking. And I've been getting requests to do Asian um, different inspired meals. So that's why you're going to see a couple different ones from me. And if you're liking them, please thumbs up. And if you have a meal that you want me to make for you or show you how to make it or whatever, if you have any questions about a meal, please feel free to let me know, okay? Let me know. So once this gets to where it needs to be, I don't have the metal thing on it this time. I'm just sitting it right on the fire, which I like better. Um, the metal thing technically is when you have a... Uh, electric stove but when you have a gas you can just put this right on here so you see all them good juices and stuff in there that's all going to go along with the sauces and stuff like that that we are making okay so once we get to this point here i just throw my broccoli right on in here guys when i tell you this is quick and this is easy you have no clue this is quick and this is easy and your family is going to love it love it love it it's just a matter of making sure you incorporate the right flavors. Now, the meat isn't done to me. It still needs to get a lot more cooking done on it because I don't do rare or medium rare. I like mine well done. So that way the broccoli can cook as well. I don't like my broccoli soggy. I like it with a little bit of crunch. So that's why I threw it in now where we have a little bit of juice and it can kind of steam my broccoli. And then in a minute, I'm going to throw all my sauces in. And guys, guess what? This is done, okay? This is done. So let's just get the cooking. Y'all, this smells so freaking good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the top on this and let this cook for a little bit. And we're gonna come back and add all our sauces. So what I'm going to do is let this sit for a little bit. And we're gonna go back over here and add all our sauces together. So that way they can be incorporated in one bowl. And give me a smaller bowl, baby. And I will be right back, guys. Okay guys, so we're gonna put everything in one bowl. We're gonna start off with some of this teriyaki sauce. And we're gonna put about, guys, I don't measure and I haven't measured in a while. I'm just used to doing this. I would say that's about a good two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. And we're gonna put about Jugo, my baby, my favorite. We're gonna put about a good tablespoon of Jugo in there. And we're gonna put about a good tablespoon of hoisin sauce okay and then we're going to put a good two tablespoons of soy sauce i'm going to add some more ginger at this point and i would say this is going to be about a good half teaspoon of ginger once i'm done okay then, guys, I'm going to put my stuff, my tomato base, nor in it. So we're going to put about, <laughs> about too much. So, anywho, we're going to just take that on out of there because we don't need all of that. Let me get my spoon. We're just going to take that hunk out of there and we're just going to toss it because we don't need all that in there. And that's all we need, guys. And that is going to be our sauce for our beef and broccoli. And let me get this out. I need my baby whisk. My baby whisk. Where is my baby whisk? Bam. All right. Let's get this stuff popping. Y'all see that? Bam. Bam. This is your sauce. This is your sauce, guys. So easy. Oh my gosh. You got to make this for your mom, your dad, your friends. All right. That's done. We are done. Let's go back over to the stove. Let's go back over to the stove. I wish my camera would act right. Okay, boom. Bam. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Can you smell that? Can you smell that? Yes. It was waiting for me. It was waiting for me, guys. It was waiting. All right. So, boom. Boom, 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 boom. This is how we do in CTI's kitchen. We get down. We get down. We get down. Thank you, granddad, for teaching me so early. When I tell you guys I've been cooking since I was like seven, eight, like literally he allowed me to get on the stove and do my thing. Do y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? Your girl has had experience. She has experience and I love it. I love to make my people, my guests, my family smile. I love to make them 
be like, oh my gosh, mom, oh my gosh, babe, oh my gosh, sister, oh my gosh. Ugh. This is the bomb. So what I'm going to do, since I put the sauce on, I'm telling y'all this is so simple. Stop going to the Chinese place. I still do, I'm not gonna front. But you know, when you just wanna have more, cause you know once you eat it all, it's over. But when you make it home, you can have leftovers. Hi, yeah. All right guys, so there's the beef and broccoli. Y'all already know, we gotta put it on a plate cause we gotta taste this, okay? This has to be tasted, okay? So yes. That's it guys, so freaking simple. And I like to have the extra gravy cause I like to pour it on my rice too. But that is your simple beef and broccoli. We didn't even go hardcore with this. This is just an easy, quick, simple beef and broccoli. All right guys, let's go plate this and taste this, all right? Yes, 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 do y'all see it? Let me zoom in, let me zoom in. Do y'all see that? I see it. See this rice wanna mess up my flow. Just just mess up the whole picture. Just just mess up the whole picture. <laughs> Do y'all see it? Oh my gosh, it's coated in so much sauce. And guess what, y'all? It's time for us to taste it. Let's taste it. Yeah, I forgot my fork, so I gotta grab me the fork. Hold on, y'all. I'm looking at the camera instead of looking at myself. my kitchen next time. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video of CPR cooking. Let's get this food cooking so we can eat. What we eat next time? I don't know. Maybe y'all might have to give me some suggestions. Talk to you in the next video. Love you guys. Make sure you thumbs up. Make sure your notifications are on because your girl throw videos out every week throughout the week. Bye the video. But my main video is every Saturday so make sure you share my channel. Thumbs up once again video and remember stick to your script because you are the best at it later gator guys this is where you can find me on all social media at cpr for the body and stay tuned for some great playlists